So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. And so, the national anthems. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. The lineup suggests, Jim, that it's going to be a 3 4 3 formation. Yeah, Peter, um, I would say that this setup is probably mostly geared to the front three. I think keeping them busy with chances is obviously a responsibility for everyone else in the team. So the midfield four in particular are, are keen to get on the front foot and play their part. The back three have just got to get on with it, and at times they are left a little exposed. So we're up and running. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, I'd go for Burak Yilmaz, because he... T well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Gets it upfield. Tassun. Calderim. That's a throw. Gets wrestled off the ball. Keira. Gnabry. Calderim. Hoists it forward. Tassun. Keira gets it back. Forward it goes. Gnabry. one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Tries to get it forward quickly. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do... The referee's awarded a free kick.
Werner. Sané. Out to the left it goes. There are a few waiting for it. Sané. It's Kroos! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And the counter is on. Gnabry has a look up from the right hand side, seeking out options. Keira continues his run. Gnabry, he's gone for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. All he'd be thinking is please, ground, swallow me up. And here's Burak Yilmaz. He's there to clear it. He's got it on the right now. What's on? He's made good progress from a deep position. Werner. Danger averted for now. And it's been taken straight back. And here's Canabri. Hit into the middle. Away from immediate danger. Now it's Burak Yilmaz. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Rudiger. Rudiger switches it towards the other side. Gnabry. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Calderim did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Going through. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Late towards the front men. Ihan does well to read it and intercepts. Calderim. And the half-time whistle goes. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. <laughs> interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil now.
So off we go once more. Germany clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Defending of the desperate variety. Chalanolu plays it short. has got rid of that. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Yazici gets into a dangerous position. Yazici floated through. He's got options out wide out for a goal kick. And it's Chalhanolu. Chalhanolu plays it out to the wing. Pass it out wide now. Cleared without complication. Neuer deals with it effortlessly. Gnabry. Werner. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Sané. Ihan gets good distance on it. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Tries to get it forward quickly. And here's the chance to counter. Forward it goes. Gnabry. Now it's Gnabry. but not quite good enough. Tony Kroos. Kimmich plays it forward. And he's there to hoof it away. Knocks it away. Pulls out once more. And the finish! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Turkey have it back and they can go again. There's a long ball. Ihan cuts it out. Chalhanolu out to the right. Chalhanolu. Turkey showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Played in by Sané. Going for goal! But there was a perfect time to score. I think we just witnessed it. Werner at his razor sharp best there. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic.
Turkey have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who is going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. I think the danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows. So concentration is key from here. They're still going. Where to next? Calderim gets it into the middle. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box. And that speaks of little ambition. Sane desperately wants to get on the end of this. to the last five minutes. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Ozyakup. It's a brilliant interception. Turkey need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Oh, it seems as though someone has been forced to pull up lame here. Yeah, and the manager's concerned too. Substitution time perhaps, or maybe not, we'll see. Looks as though he's got to see if he can shake it off. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Mali. Turkey desperately need a goal, and this could well be their last chance. Osyakup. And that has been clubbed away. And that is that. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Your final thoughts, Jim? Germany simply imposed their strength from start to finish, and this became as predictable as predictable.